little bit of work, man, that don't scare us. I get up, I go hard like I'm George Harris. Good morning, world. Day two. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Let's get this shit. Woo! Goodbye, little angels. Have a safe trip wherever you go. Look at this view. I should get some damn windshield wiper fluid. I've been in Oklahoma for fucking a minute and a half and it's all fucking buffalo! Not a wild one, it's in a little fenced in area, but a fucking buffalo! Have you guys ever played Grand Theft Auto V? If you guys would like to join my party and try to create a heist, we can. Just let me know. I'll send out some invites. The fuck is that? I thought that was some type of new age TP or something. Is that racist? I'm sorry, Shawnee Nation. Eastern Shawnee Nation. As I drive through your territory. As the people do. Fucking give you smallpox. Look at this pretty ass casino. The Lucky Turtle. Or like the lucky Indian man taking the money from the white is. <laughs> My whole idea behind this trip was to take like Route 66 and then it would be like super crazy and fun. Like, oh my god, Route 66 is the most classic road. But I got the idea because Chappelle Lacey in Springfield, Missouri keeps talking about fucking eight foot tall Bass Pro Shop. So, no, I'm just kidding. But I did get the idea of listening to Chappelle talk about Route 66 starting in Springfield. But guess what? That's too long. I'm already driving to, from fucking Chicago to LA. You want me to go 65 on Route 66? I think earlier I said I thought I was on Route 66, but I was on 69. Which, I mean, Route 69. Didn't see any lot lizards though. Uh, honestly, I don't know if they're that common. Or at least I'm not stopping in the, the lot lizard territories maybe. Maybe they're like a monitor lizard. Like they're really protective of their territory. We should get a bunch of Indian guys to come fuck up a monitor lizard. Lady boots. Got more boots than I got feet. I know that. Is it all lady boots? Where's the man boots? I want to see some manly man cowboy boots. Can't be a cowboy for cheap. For the clearance section. <laughs> I'm gonna buy some clearance boots. Got so many boots here. There ain't no clearance. I mean, they're nice. They're very nice boots. Beautiful. Oh, these are nice. But now look at these joints. Tell me these ain't raw. Rawer than a hot dog, baby. These? Ooh, they're hard. These are nice too. Lighter? These are a lot lighter. Maybe for activities like horses. And buffalo. I think I could just look at all this shit forever. So beautiful. Look at these stuffs. You need denim. 32 by 36 are they tall natives. Also, if you don't think I'm gonna buy a Native American knife, y'all oh, not one of these. They got Uggs. Tom Brady wear Uggs. And if Tom Brady wear it, that means I can wear it too. Big old horns. Oh. What? Oh. That's so cute. I need a little baby. I'm gonna have a little baby on the way. <laughs> I miss Stevie. DB, if you ever see these, I love you, buddy. Look at 
these fucking bowls and shit, man. Come on. Homemade by local crest. Just in case you wanted to, you know, try something with me. If you were gonna try something with me, we are gonna have a problem, you feel me? I'm just rehydrating. I didn't, I just kind of turned the camera on and I was gonna sit and enjoy some time on my phone. You know, the little Browse album came out today. I wanna give it like a good listen along with Gringo Poppy. I got to listen to it while driving, but it's fucking good. Like the editing I saw was fucking fire. Uh, they kept it under 30 minutes, which I feel like is beautiful for the YouTube audience. Me, like when I seen Akash Singh's special, I was like, oh, that revolutionized how YouTube specials are coming out now. Because before that, Shane Gillis had a great YouTube special. It was about 50 minutes. Mark Norman had a wonderful one that blew up. But for just solo stand-up and your own content, with that level of editing and, you know, just boom, 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 bringing the laughs, the punchlines together close like that. Because obviously in real life, there's a lot of conversation and talking and, you know, hotty dotty. But I'm excited. Does this look like the scene from Euphoria where uh, Hal fucks all the transgendered ladies? <laughs> and I guess just some uh, gay guys in there. I don't think they were all uh, transgendered ladies, if I remember the show correctly. But fucking Jules is on there, and that's all you need, really. But does this look like that angle where he's like secretly recording them and like sticking his thumb in their friggin' mouth? What a weirdo! I know I had a good day. <laughs> yeah, driving across Oklahoma. Uh, I saw a buffalo, a lot of casinos. I went to that antique Indian store. It was an antique, but it was like an Indian craft trade store. I bought a tomahawk. Uh, I got a nice steak. My first Texas steak at a nice fun steakhouse. Uh, it was a really cute steakhouse. Tomorrow is New Mexico and Arizona. Wish me a lot of luck. Took a lot of work just to get here. Drop 201 again. Had to face my fears. Noise in my head had to make it disappear. Never asked for help. Yeah, I got it myself. I earned my stripes, my merits. Stripes, my merits.